Steve Claridge. Hey, Stevie Claridge. Ooh, ah. He was one scruffy bastard, wasn't he? Kick too big, shirt hanging out, overgrown skinhead, socks rolled down, one shin pad famously. But fuck me, did the guy know where the net was? An absolutely outrageous goal scorer. He does seem like he was at the club longer, but as a player, Steve Claridge spent just two short years at Mirwall, but he will always be held in high regard by the fans. Signed by Mark McGee in the summer of 2001 after a very successful brief loan spill, Claridge went on to score 29 goals in 91 appearances for the Lions. And amongst them, some very important goals. And some fucking brilliant goals. In my eyes, Claridge seems something of a freak in nature. I've already mentioned his appearance, but he was almost lackadaisical in his approach. He wasn't a target man, he wasn't quick, he wasn't a poacher, but he was absolutely brilliant, and I still to this day can't work out how. But let me tell you, I'm not knocking Super Steve whatsoever. His record, not only at Mill, but across his whole career, speaks for itself. And Claridge, due to his performances at Mill, especially at the Den, will always see him remembered as something of a short term legend at our club. As I've already mentioned in this video, and I'm sure it's something you already knew, Mark McGee signed Steve Claridge as something of, well not as an accident, it was something that was imposed upon McGee. The Lions were flying with a strike duo of Neil Harris and Paul Moody, but both those players were sent off in a 2-2 draw at Bristol City, which left us extremely light up top. McGee delved immediately into the transfer window and signed Tony Cotty and Steve Claridge on short term loans at the Den. For Cotty, things never really took off at the Den but Cladger hit the ground running. Claridge's brilliant goal scoring, vast experience, ability to hold the ball up and trickery saw him rewarded with a permanent contract in the summer of 2001 and he signed on a permanent deal at the dead. And I'm yet to tell you the best part of this all. We signed Steve Claridge for a grand total of zero. Zero, yeah that's right, zilch, nothing, nada, nishmans, absolutely fuck all basically. And I've got to be honest, to this day, that still puts a smile on my face. Steve Claridge had an absolutely phenomenal career and he will always be remembered for his longevity in football. His career spanned over 25 years for over 25 different clubs and I'm telling you, it's easy to see why. Claridge's grit, determination, desire and constant hard work meant he was a perfect fit for Millwall and it's no surprise that he was part of a squad that will always be remembered fondly in the club's history. Hey Stevie Claridge, ooh, ah, I wanna know how you scored that goal. Claridge left the Lions in 2003 to take up a player coaching role at non-league Weymouth where he went on to score a shitload more goals, no surprise there. He later returned to the Den in 2005 for a very brief, very unsuccessful spell as our manager. But we're going to leave that one for another day because this is only positive vibes on the Millwall History Shows. But once again, I'd just like to thank you beautiful patrons for paying for this privilege of watching me talk bollocks on camera. Long may it continue. And as I've said already, if you've got any requests, Put it in the comments below and I'll make it happen because this is Patreon and you're paying for the privilege. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Go on, the Claridge. <laughs>